Hey guys, time for another Year of Miyazaki video in which we will be discussing The Cat Returns, which was originally released in 2002 under the Japanese title Neko no On Gaishi, uh, which literally means The Cat's Repayment. Now this was the first Studio Ghibli film since A Whisper of the Heart to be written or directed by somebody other than um, Esao Takahata or Hayao Miyazaki, and this one was written by uh, Rieko Yoshida and was directed by uh, Hiroyuki Morita. The Cat Returns is based on a manga of the same name by Aoi Hiragi, um, who is actually the same mangaka or manga artist who did the um, manga version of A Whisper of the Heart. So technically speaking, this is kind of a sequel slash spin-off um, based on the short story that was written in A Whisper of the Heart. So Yes, that was very meta. Um, I will link my A Whisper of the Heart discussion um, in the cards and in, in the description so that you guys can go find out what the hell I'm talking about. The Cat Returns follows a high school aged girl named Haru who is kind of having a hard time of it. She doesn't really feel like she fits in at school. She is constantly late and making a fool of herself. She's clumsy, a little bit awkward, and just generally feels like she is out of place most of the time. One day, Haru is walking home from school with her friend when she sees a cat carrying a little package um, who runs into the street and is almost hit by a truck. Seeing that this cat is about to be hit, Haru runs out into the street, scoops him up in her lacrosse stick, and saves his life. To her utter surprise, the cat then gets up, licks himself clean, um, and speaks to her in language that she can understand and says, Thanks for saving my life. Um, I'll never forget you and I will repay my debt. Haru's friend manages to convince her that cats don't talk and that she must have hit her head trying to save the cat. Uh, so she kind of just forgets about it until um, a couple evenings later when she notices something a little bit weird. After dark, Haru finds a procession of cats working their way through her neighborhood and they stop in front of her house with a message from the Cat King to say thank you very much for saving my son and the prince um, an heir to my throne. At first, Haru doesn't think too much of it. She thinks this has actually been a dream um, until she wakes up to find that her entire front yard has been covered in cattails, that her best friend has received uh, hundreds of lacrosse sticks to replace the one that got broken while saving the cat, and uh, to find that cats are following her everywhere. When Haru finally manages to corner one of the cats to find out what the heck is going on, she learns that the gifts won't exactly stop, but that the king also wants to bring her to the cat kingdom and have her marry the prince that she saved. Of course, the problem with that is that Haru is a human, not a cat, and she doesn't fancy marrying a cat. So um, in order to try and get out of this mess, she goes to the cat bureau and seeks the help of the Baron. Now, if you have seen Whisper of the Heart, uh, the Baron is, of course, that cat figure that hangs out in the little antique shop and has these mysterious eyes um, and who supposedly is an adventurer. The Baron, of course, agrees to help Haru figure her way out of this mess, but before he can do anything, she gets whisked off by cats from the Cat Kingdom to uh, get ready for her impending marriage. Now, I know I've mentioned A Whisper of the Heart quite a few times already as The Cat Returns is sort of a spin-off um, of that earlier film, but I will say that I don't think you need to have watched A Whisper of the Heart already to enjoy this. I do think you'll get more out of this if you have watched A Whisper of the Heart because you can see that it's set in the same general world, um, it pulls um, from familiar characters and, and things like that, but um, I think this is a really fantastically fun um, adventure story all on its own. I will say it doesn't really feel like a feature length film because it's only about 75 minutes. It felt more like um, kind of a, a long form uh, anime series episode um, and, and I think the animation style very much lent to that. I also thought it was interesting that although Haru is definitely a little bit older than the typical Studio Ghibli protagonist, this very much felt like um, a, a fantasy uh, fun adventure film for kids. In addition to reminding me of long form like anime series, it also really reminded me of um, kind of what I was watching growing up. So Disney films where you've got kind of a um, 
spunky, maybe a little bit awkward heroine who meets a dashing nobleman. There's a goofy sidekick um, and the bad guy isn't really a bad guy because he's just kind of a goof. Yeah, it just, it felt like um, good old-fashioned, for my life at least, family fun. It's definitely not the best story Studio Ghibli's ever uh, produced. It's not like the most thought-provoking or anything or the most fantastic animation-wise but it's just a lot of fun so if that's what you're looking for in an animated film in particular I would definitely recommend this. So those are my thoughts on The Cat Returns by Studio Ghibli and I would love to hear what you guys think of this film if you have watched it previously. Um, I know a lot of people don't realize that this is connected to A Whisper of the Heart so um, let me know if you have watched this and now are interested in going to see A Whisper of the Heart. Um, I just would be interested to hear your thoughts. The next film that I will be watching is um, Howl's Moving Castle, which I am incredibly excited about. I'm about to start rereading the book, so that should be up next week because we are in crunch time, people. The end of the year is almost here and I still have, a bit, I believe, seven seven films? I don't I don't remember exactly, but I, I have quite a few films to get through. So Howl's Moving Castle will be coming up shortly, but otherwise that's all I have for today. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're having a fantastic day and I will see you next time. Bye!